I knew that Gerard Schwartz was going to be in town conducting the Hartford Symphony, and I knew that he had been here two years before and had come visit Hart, did a little Gershwin with us while he was here, had a good time, uh, and I thought, why not have him here again? So please welcome Gerard Schwartz. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. When I contacted him, he barely, I mean, less than 24 hours later, he said, absolutely, would love to come. Um, what are you doing now? I said, well, we just got through doing Strauss, Death and Transfiguration. We're about to do Shostakovich 5. Oh, Shostakovich 5. Let's do that. I, you know, let's, absolutely, I want to do that with your students. All right. So we're going to, uh, uh, Mr. Cummins suggested we start with the last movement. Let's do the last movement. And, uh, you know, I probably will do things differently. It doesn't mean that I'm right and he's wrong. It means that that's what music's all about. And we'll see if we can get through. Okay? Okay. Here we go. <clears throat> You know, he has this way of, of actually criticizing without criticizing. He does. He makes things better. He keeps pumping them with positive reinforcement. And, and yet, after he said a few things, you realize, oh, wait a minute. He just told them, you know, he just told them there's actually a way that they could do it better. So now, this, my little speech about this movement, of course, very sarcastic, very uncharacteristic, it's not, you know, scherzo. I said scherzo? It's not a scherzo at all. It's a diabolical movement in three. And there are no staccato marks. Bum, da, 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 da. Now, one could say, how come am I thinking that way, right? Because when the bassoons come in and play it in the piano, they're marked with all staccatos, aren't they? So, if Shostakovich marked all those with staccatos, and these without staccatos, maybe he'd like them differently played. Maybe. One could say, oh, he made a mistake, and he really wanted it to be short, or blah, blah, blah. For me, I want to exaggerate. So I want it to be almost vulgar. D, da, 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 no space. Da, 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 da. Obviously, you do it as it comes anyway, which is fine. Then, when the woodwinds come in, you have this shriek. And then immediately, piano and short. E flat clarinet, huh? Okay, here we go. <clears throat> close to the bridge, basis. Close to the bridge. <clears throat> Conductors stop because something went wrong. If things are going great, we keep going. And so imagine playing an ensemble for 30, 40 plus years where the only thing you hear is criticism. Watching Gerard Schwartz in that rehearsal, I mean, it's just, this is a guy who knows how to get what he wants, but does it in a way that's very, that's very it. upbeat, very optimistic and encouraging. Could even be more um, uh, pixie-like. It, it was as if he'd, you know, he'd been working with them already for weeks. I want everything exaggerated. It's close, it's close. Once more, everything long, every quarter note long. One, and. That one hour with Gerard Schwartz gives them a taste and a flavor of, okay, this guy was music director of the Seattle Symphony for 28 years. He's played principal trumpet in the New York Philharmonic uh, even before that. So what I'm looking at, I'm a player up there on the podium, says, okay, so this is what's waiting for me when I get out there in the profession. And if I can do it for this guy, then you know, then I can do it out there in the world. Good. Something that you know, one of our colleagues, Robert Black, was saying to all of us: Don't think of yourselves as still en route to something. So you're already doing it. You're performing now. You're playing with professionals now. You're, getting, you're having master classes with top people in the field now. You're, you're not getting there. You, in a way, you already all are there. I mean, the fact that you have 
you know, matriculated successfully to the heart school already says a lot about you. And so, sure, the fact that Gerard Schwartz is right up there in front of them, it's a natural, you know, progression of, of, of activities for them as an undergraduate or graduate three. student Second. here. Three, three, four, three. One. Now, long notes, long. Don't stop the ball. Don't stop the ball. Now is the day to go. Good. Keep going. Uh, one. Not too short. Crescendo. Put in the window. The first thing that Jerry Schwartz said to me when he was done, he said, they follow me. They, I mean, it's, it was almost like I'm not used to having students follow so well. And I was so, so proud of them that, that they did, not only that they did that, but that he was so uh, receptive to it. But they were with him at every, I mean, they were watching him and he was so excited about that. And uh, so that was, uh, that was real um, nice verification, I think not only for us, but for him, that students can respond like pros and really, you know, grasp very quickly to what it is that, that he wanted at, that, at any particular moment. Thank you all, great to hear you. you sound beautiful, just beautiful. <laughs> That's great. That's great. My students to be able to play Shostakovich with Gerard Schwartz was not just a thrill for them, but also just a really successful experience for everybody in the room. I, I am going to long remember the expressions on their faces, not just as he was talking to them and urging them on, but also as he was conducting them. It was just, they were all pretty giddy about the whole experience. They were, they were having a great time. I, I think, you know, a number of them probably thinking, wow, you know, this is actually really fun. You know, I, I, can, I can see myself doing this. If this is what it's about, then yeah, I want more of this. Mm -hmm.